And we're back at Knott's for the Knott's Boysenberry Festival. I mean, look at that. They're all decked out with boysenberries and ready to go. Got all kinds of stuff as soon as you walk into the park. Uh, let's go a little deeper and see what else they have going on here. Look at that tree. It's actually kind of nice. I'm still zoomed in. Sorry about that. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah, and they got the, uh, the boysenberry bunting up. And the welcome to the boysenberry festival. I think it's the same one every year. All right, so there are quite a few vendors out here. Mrs. 909, would you say there's just as many as there usually is? I think there's a few less. I think there's more. You think there's more? Yeah. These have potpourri in them. Do they? That's what I'm sure there, you know, there's wax or something because, I mean, they might have no, wax melter. No, it's, it's all. Do they? It's the potpourri. Oh, interesting. It smells good. And then gumdrops. Well, not to change the subject, but I remember Ghost Town having, being, the streets of Ghost Town just being lined with, uh, Oh, Christmas time? No, I'm talking about for Boysenberry Festival. Oh, I don't remember. I know Christmas time, but that's... Hmm. And of course, no trip to Knott's Berry Farm is complete without a trip to Ghost Town Bakery. Every time we go to Knott's, it's almost like it's become a, a, a tradition. Every time we go to the park, it's one of the first things we do is hit the bakery. And while I'm showing the bakery, I just want to let you guys know this is not going to be a food guide. Uh, as much as I would have loved to make a food guide for you guys, there's so many other channels out there that do that. And uh, my small channel is having a hard time finding a place in that niche. So just let me show you guys what we have got. Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing the cookies and cream cake from Knott's Berry Farm. This is what it looks like. Um, they put chocolate drizzle for me. I'm really excited to try it. So uh, I'm gonna use a spoon. And this isn't part of the, the Boysenberry Festival though, is it? It's an all time. 12 out of 10? Let's try 12 out of 10? Yeah, let's try the whipped thing. That's like a 9. It's really sweet, but it's good. I recommend this a lot. And this is, again, one more time, what is it? The cookies and cream cake. Oh, mm, looks good. And they have this all the time, right? Not part of the boysenberry festival? Yeah, all the time. Okay, so another boysenberry treat. What'd you get? I got the boysenberry macaroon. And it has coconut and I think like some... Like a boysenberry shower, it looks like? Yeah. That's cool. It looks like a little meteor or something. Yeah. All right, let's take a bite see what's in there. It's full of coconut. It's full of coconut? <laughs> or did you take a big enough bite? Oh, yeah. It sure is. It looks good, though. So, what what is your rating? Give an honest rating. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, because there's always room for improvement, right? Very good. Alright, so we're going to try this cheese danish, it looks like. It looks and smells like it's got a little bit of a lemon drizzle on it. Uh, but it's got a boysenberry and cheese center. I don't mean like a cheese, but like a like a cream cheese almost. That is really good. That is probably one of my new favorite things here. I wish they would keep this around, but obviously it's just for the boysenberry festival. Very good, not overly sweet very fresh it's not dry at all so this is like the perfect thing this would pair very well with like a coffee first thing in the morning very good guys I recommend this this is probably my favorite thing right now out of the, the bakery here and so I'm not sure what to expect but we're gonna check out old McDonald's bar and see what's in there let's go check it out guys <laughs> it smells like farm animals in here Oh, and the pigs are gone. It turned into lambs. Look what the pigs turned into, it's guys. It has a heart on its head. The sheep. It has a heart on its head. It's the one that has This guy is unshaved. The other three aren't. Are these? <laughs> I'm sorry. Scratch that, reverse it. The three are shaved. That one is not. Cool. 
These guys will be here until April what? How long is this going on for? March 8th, which is today through April 28th? Let me look. Alright, we'll get back to you on those dates. Actually, I'll just put it up here on the screen next. Or now. Right now it's time for a little Camp Snoopy update. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not expecting much to have changed, but let's check it out anyways. Okay, so the Camp Snoopy Flying Ace is obviously still open. That was open last time we were here. And it looks like the uh, balloon race is still going on there. You guys can see it right there in the center of the screen just came to uh, came to a stop we'll get up there in a minute and get some more footage and the Linus launcher is still in operation don't expect any of these to be going anywhere anytime soon and to be honest guys it doesn't seem like a whole heck of a lot has changed everything that was still oh this has changed I'll show you guys right now got some nice little uh, Easter decorations going on here but Everything that was here in our last update is still up and running. The view, the whole view hasn't changed. Everything that was down is still down. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at the old Ferris wheel. Even the uh, the uh, the pylons that held up the wheel are now gone. And uh, I'll show you guys that momentarily. First, let me show you this. And there's that. They got some uh, some Easter decorations. We still will be here at the end of the month, in about three weeks, three and a half weeks. They're getting ready. Very cool. They always do this area up really nice for the holidays. Christmas, it looks great. Halloween time, it's pretty awesome. And look at that. Very colorful, very uh, thigh candy for sure. And the Rapid River Run's still going as it comes to a stop. This is a cool little ride I always do with my kids, but glad we're not, they're not getting rid of this one. This is a pretty cool little ride. Right here, so here's a little, little spot that I found that's actually pretty accessible. You guys, check that out. They're getting ready to lay the track. It looks like they got some cement blocks drying there that are uh, in the ground. They're making some headway on this for sure. Look at that. And is that the uh, the first green the first green pylon that I believe that's the same color that the uh, the track is going to be. The track is uh, laying over there right across the street. It's here. It's just waiting to be assembled. Very cool. Very very cool. Can't wait for this one to open. Charlie Brown's kite flyer is still going. It's uh, swinging around there in the wind. If you guys pay attention to these right here. Each one that comes around makes a face, and I think it's supposed to be like a like an animation to a cartoon, almost sort of type of thing they got going on there. Very cool. And the Linus launcher is still going. Yep, so not a whole heck of a lot has changed, guys. Looks like everything that's still in uh, in motion, everything that needs to be happening is still happening. Everything that's under construction is being built. So this is a good report, guys. Good report. Progress is being made. Nothing's at a standstill. You know, it's... it's pretty cool that they actually leave you know the rides or the attractions open that they are uh, not taking out you know other theme parks have shut down the entire land which uh, you know if they shut down the entire Camp yes, Snoopy if they shut down the entire Camp Snoopy they would uh, really wouldn't have anything for little ones to do 
So it's a good thing they're leaving these attractions open. And with the update on Camp Snoopy being concluded, we got a little bit of, a, of some good news. Montezuma's Revenge is going to be returning next year in 2025. We'll see if it happens, you know, you never know. Sometimes it's, it's just wishful thinking. But uh, since we've been here last, it doesn't look like a whole lot has changed. I don't know, was this here? The, uh, the lift last time we were here? I don't remember the lift being there. Doesn't mean it wasn't there, but... Hmm. A little food for thought. But yes, Montezuma's Revenge is returning. Alright guys, so I know the lighting isn't that great. But I was just walking by and I noticed that the Rocky Mountain Trucking Company sign is still up. It's the only thing we can actually see of the old the old attraction. It's still there. We'll have to keep an eye on this and see how much longer this is gonna be here. I guess that'll be our uh, our little thing during this remodel for our channel. And with that being said, if you guys haven't done so yet, I would like to invite you to subscribe now. It's absolutely free. It costs you guys nothing to subscribe. Also, like this video. That will help get the word out. And sharing the video. Sharing also helps get the word out. Help us grow. And uh, YouTube is going to suggest that you guys might like one of these videos right here on the screen next.